It's the NFL on EA Sports. And this one features the Bulls, veteran running back. He'll be a focal point of his offense this week. It's the Bulls and the Steamers coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the Caribbean Isle of Puerto Rico and its historic capital city of San Juan. Today we hit double digits week 10 and we got a good one in store as it'll be the Steamers of Louisville taking on the Bulls of San Juan. Hello again everybody, Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis up in the booth. And Charles, you look at this San Juan team as they interplay. They come in playing some decent football, five and three in their last eight games. In the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. Meanwhile, for the visitors, Louisville, they come into this one fresh off a victory that finally snapped a six-game losing streak. And there's nothing like that win that makes everyone happier in the locker room, better on the practice field, and they usually play a whole lot better that next game out as well. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him to win. Jones wants to throw to start things out here. And complete on the right side to Bennett. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Finding space at the 40. Inside the 20. And all the way in for the touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bulls march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. So that's going to be a nice one for the passing stats, and that's how it will go down in the stat sheet. But the success of that play, no doubt, all thanks to the talents of the wideout. Oh, he was definitely the recipient of good blocking as well, especially at the line of scrimmage. And once he got around the corner, you got the sense that no one was going to get him. Really nice ball handling, too, in order to get him to him. Kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a look here at the veteran under center, their seventh-year quarterback. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, this defense very strong in that victory from a week ago. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. In trouble and he's taken down. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. Partner, we had their game last week where they had six sacks, so a little bit more momentum here again in the first quarter. And last week it appeared that they were coming out of sprinter's blocks, chasing the quarterback. So how do they continue that? How do they keep making it happen? Different looks, different disguises, different angles that they chase it. They were so disruptive last week. We'll see what the trend is here as we go forward. 
Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum down. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. This now a third and four. Throwing Jones. And he fires one, but incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. And they bring their punter out there now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree because when you get that open week after a victory, it does wonder. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Here's third and nine. Looking to throw. Cameron. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. They'll start out here with an option left. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. But you look at this defense. Well, they were very strong in that victory from a week ago. We had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? <laughs> and what was fun to me was hear him say, I like what we did. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10.
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the door gets tough in here. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off the play fake, Cameron. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Up the middle they go. It's Peters. And he put up a good fight, but he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Looking to throw on second down. Cameron. Throw left side. It's complete. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. On first down, Cameron. And it's incomplete, but he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Second and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Peters, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Cameron. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. It's up about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. This a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And they are on the board but still trailing, it's 7-3. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you, you didn't jinx him. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. San Juan now getting set to take over on offense. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. But you look at this defense. Now they're squarely in the middle of the pack against the run this year, number 16 in the NFL. They're not an elite unit. They're not, as what you'd say, the top part of the league against the run. They're a solid group, though. They do a good job. What they're looking for in this one, though, is an elite performance. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Now Jones. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 23 yards, the final tally. And time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. And they run the option here on first and 10. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. 
He had the option there, decided to keep it, exposed himself and fumbled it. Yeah, and you worry about the hits he's going to take in that situation. In this case, not only does he take the hit, he coughs the ball up, as you noted. For the Louisville offense back out now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And now the throw here is incomplete. And with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. The offense on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Now a play fake here on first down. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. Looked like some hands both ways. They got it on the offense. And sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the DB, and he knocked that one away. Might have caused an incompletion that could have been an interception. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for a second down. Operating from the gun. Cameron throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. No partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. I hit me out a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. San Juan now getting set to take over on offense. Now yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. On the option left, it's Jones. And a good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. And Jones going to keep once more. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 13 yards down to the 13. 
We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. On first and 10, Jones. And it's caught. Touchdown. From 14 yards out. And the Bulls had six to their lead. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And the Louisville offense back out now. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Cameron. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. From the gun on third down, Cameron able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. A pair of first downs gives him a first and ten up at the 44. Operating from the gun, Cameron. Throw left side, complete. That's Baker. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. Off play action. Cameron. He finds his man complete. That's Peters. That one a first down pickup of eight. Up the middle they go. It's Peters. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. And they'll send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, that's what he can do when he keeps the football. It's not a huge game, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained, and in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. 
two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. What a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Very nice job getting him down by the line of And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He's got the first down. He's got a big game going right now. Already over 100 yards receiving in this first half alone. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Here's a second and five. Back to throw again. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Again, he'll drop to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a throw here to his running back. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Here is third and five. They'll look to throw again. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And the 10-year bet knocks it through the goalpost. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Back out comes this offense now late in this first half. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit there. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Baker. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Back to throw. Norton. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. 
got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball in a passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well. Creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And that will hit and continue on out of bounds. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Stiff armed it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little game. So a decent gain there on the play, but that all gets wiped out with a penalty. Well, that's a setback, but all the good play callers, they just move on. They find something else in the playbook. They can attack this defense, and they go right back on the offensive on this play. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. 17-3 the score as we resume action for the second half on EA Sports. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a manageable deficit, guys, but let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened, so a two-possession game might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. They'll run on first down. Beasley. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Now a second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Beasley. And good work there in open space. He's got this all the way down now to the 32. 11 yards there. First down. A 
On the option right, it's Jones. And that's a loss of seven on the first down play. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Tall task ahead of them here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Complete. This is Mitchell. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. Despite writing it down on my notes, I've never given enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Looking to throw. Jones. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. With his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Bulls have moved out in front by three touchdowns. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise. Methodical is one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. So here's Louisville set to take over on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. A gain of five brings up second and five. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Peters. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Norton. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. First down, Steamers. Looking to throw. Norton. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Here's second and ten. And right side, they're going to go option here. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Throwing on third and long. Norton. And that is incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. So they bring out their putter as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. San Juan now getting set to take over on offense. They're just looking to do more of the same. They were good in the first half. They've extended their lead so far here in the second half. I don't know, they're just looking good on all, hitting on all cylinders right now. And sometimes that means a head coach who really has a finger on the pulse of a team 
may not have anything to say at all. May tell the rest just of the coaches, just, just back it off a little bit. This team has it under control. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in basketball, getting ready to give the final speech before the gold medal game in 84. And on the board, Michael Jordan had, wrote, had written, Coach, after all we've been through, there's no way we're losing the night. He didn't even give a pregame speech. Wow, interesting. Well, right now, no speech is needed. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Over the middle complete. It's Mitchell. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That'll go as a pickup of eight. But we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it. There you go. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Ball on the 39. Here's second down at seven. Back to throw. Jones. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield strike at the 49. So roughing the passer, and this is a unit, Charles. They hold their breath every time they see their quarterback go down and get hit like that. Yeah, they understand how important these last couple of months are for this team. They can ill afford to have anything happen to him if they want to accomplish their goals. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And he finds Beasley complete. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. Only three points there, but I got to think, at this point in the third quarter, that's all you're really looking for. And right now, the lead is three touchdowns and three two-point conversions. So you and I both know a huge order for the best of teams. And from what we've seen so far, hard to believe that that's a likely scenario. Three two-point conversions, that's difficult. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Norton. Throw left side complete. That's Peters. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Operating from the gun. Norton. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 18 on the play. And a Louisville first down. And right side, they're going to go option here. And maybe the wrong read there is he's going to go down immediately. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Looking to throw. Norton. And that's incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Following the play here, now we've got an injury. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. And on now is the punter, as he'll come on to kick this one away. Yeah. 
And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. San Juan now getting set to take over on offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. On second down, Beasley. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. Brings up third and seven. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And they'll get him down up past the 15. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game and moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like... That's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. On second down now, Beasley. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. This offense so far on third down, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. They're up against a third-and-one situation. He's got his man. It's Pierce. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the option right, it's Jones. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. 70 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll keep it on the ground. Beasley. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Up the middle they go. Beasley will take it inside the 25. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Off the play fake, Jones. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Well, that interception at least offers them a glimmer of hope here in the fourth quarter. It certainly does if their offense goes out now and makes it pay off by getting into the end zone. 
And if it does, then they get a chance to get back out on the field and try and do it again. Maybe they can force that offense into more and more mistakes and give them a chance to get back into this one totally. Yeah, still a three-score hill to climb. We'll see if they can do it. Throwing to start the drive. Cameron looking middle, and it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Third down at six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So a line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. To throw again, Cameron. Looking middle and that's complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path. A significant number. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. Back to throw. Cameron. Over the middle, it's complete. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Looking to throw. Cameron. He finds his man complete. It's Robertson. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and two, Cameron. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Operating from the gun, Cameron. That's complete, right around the eight. 
And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Back to throw. Cameron. And it's caught. Touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Steamers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence. And now pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Tried to roll out, make a play outside of the pocket, but couldn't get it done. When you don't have a lot of space for your receivers to operate, and down there it's really condensed when you're snapping the ball from the two-yard line, rolling out, you extend the play, but you don't necessarily open up better avenues for people. And on that play, there's just nowhere to go with the ball, and you end up getting sacked. San Juan now getting set to take over on offense. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Second and 10 at the 42-yard line. On second down, Beasley given three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing Jones. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Now Jones throwing on first down. On the left side, he finds Beasley. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll come up facing third and five. Brings up third and five. Looking to throw. Jones working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football. And I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but yeah, I... But, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a game ball, child. and you get a game ball. Game balls for everybody. 
So for San Juan, the win will help them keep pace in the playoff race as they move to six and three on the year. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for Louisville, the turnaround hasn't materialized as they fall to two and seven. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.